Welcome back, everybody. Now, Tiba Fumatabi is a music producer and gospel rap artist from Pretoria in Artridgeville. He started performing in high school events with his friends, and that led him, you know, studying music and sound engineering to enhance his gift. He has a single out where he features award winning gospel star Takindo titled Kinako, and he joins us now this morning to share more. Tebo Hoy, very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Good stuff. Now, for those uh, who don't know you, how would you describe yourself and the music that you create? Um, I am a music producer, gospel artist, uh, born and raised in Pretoria. Yeah. Okay. So I've, I've been doing music uh, probably for my whole life since high school. Yeah. You know, so I've studied music. Um, I had to sort of wave my, myself to come into the gospel side of things because of I realized that I needed to use my gift to actually give back to God. Okay. Yeah. So as you were doing music back in high school yeah. and, you know, at school events, what yeah. kind of music were you doing then? Um, we started with Quieto and then moving to like your international hip hop okay. and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then what propelled you then to focus into gospel music? Um, my relationship with God as I grew closer to him and then I realized that I, I needed to use my gift um, to, you know, talk about him more and, and let the people know. Okay. Yeah. And I did say, I did mention in my intro that you're actually a gospel rap artist. Yeah. So, for, to some people, gospel music and rap music are two different worlds. How yeah. were you able to fuse those dynamics? Uh, I guess it's just the gift and the talent that I have in me. So it was easy because I come from the hip hop industry, mm -hmm. you know, and the quieto industry. So for me to switch the two to, to, to the gospel side, it, it wasn't that difficult. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It may not have been difficult for you, but I suppose it might have been slightly weird for those gospel music followers and yeah. lovers who, yeah. who are still, I would say, somewhat conservative when it comes to consuming music. Yeah. And they, they wouldn't really think that gospel music would be fused with the rap music. So how do you, how, how, how do you feel that they've welcomed or they've embraced your, your craft? Um, slowly but surely we're bringing in the music, but uh, remember there's a scripture in the Bible that says, come as you are. Yes. So this is what we're trying to explain, that this is who we are. And we, the same way you're praising about God and singing about God, we're rapping about him too. Right, right. Yeah. And as a, as a child growing, who had a musical influence over you? Who really influenced you? Uh, my dad was a poet. So okay. yeah, it, it, it all comes from him, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do you attribute your, your music your musical success to him? Yes, I do. Um, my previous music video, actually, I, I got him on the music video. Yeah. So, yeah, as a, as a tribute to him. Yeah. And how much of an influence did uh, your neighborhood in Atridgeville have in you decided to take this route? Um, it is because of, um, I'm all about trying to influence the, the upcoming kids, you know, the young ones. And because of sensual hip hop is the one that they are more in line with. So I'm yes. just saying, um, the same way you, you would love your Kanye West and whatever, we still here, uh, we can still guide you to the Lord as well. Right, right. Yeah. Are you focusing on a particular demographic in terms of listening and consuming your music? I mean, who is your music created for? Uh, this is for everyone from the young kids to the old, you know, I, I, I don't create boundaries. Uh, I try to, when I make music, to make sure that uh, if my 10-year-old can listen to it, I make sure that even my mother can listen to it. Okay. So it's, it's for everyone. Do you feel you are under so much pressure to hone your craft so much that my 65-year-old mom can yeah. actually listen to gospel rap music? Sometimes, you know, you have to choose your words correctly. You know, you, you, you have to make sure that when you write and the word that you use is the same one that you know when your mom is listening or my grandmother is listening, be like, okay, now I understand what he's talking about. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the trick is to make them listen to the lyrics. Yes. Not just the beat. Not just the beat. We, it's all about, because we're trying to portray the message. So uh, we have to you. make sure that the message come across uh, you, in the you. right way. Yeah. Now, this is your fourth project, right? Yeah. And your latest EP is titled Making Jesus Fashionable. Fashionable yeah. <laughs> Share more on the significance <laughs> of this title. Um, it's, it's, I don't know, it, it, it came to me a while back uh, and I had to realize that, you know what, the same way um, we call it the people in the world, 
uh, that are doing the, um, the fashion shows and whatnot. And we have the people who love fashion in, uh, in the gospel uh, industry. So I thought, you know what, if I come with the title to make sure that um, we can bring in the fashion, the music as well, and fuse it together, and uh -huh. then praising God in that way, I think we can still bring everybody together to praise God. Okay. Yeah. So okay. we, we, we can't just find the fashion and the other music outside. We can still have it in the, in the, in the gospel industry. And speaking of fashion, I can see that uh, your name or your last name is emblazoned on yeah. some of the outfits that you're wearing. Is it a, a fashion line that you're focusing on? It's, yeah, something that I'm working on. Uh, okay. Hopefully in the future, yeah, it, it, it'll be out on, you know, on, on stores as well. Okay. Yeah. Well, would you describe that style, that particular style? Is it hip? Is it, uh, you know conservative or is it just for, just about for everyone it's just about for everyone I, okay. I, I i i'm trying to make it as fashion as i can right, fashionable right. as i can but is this is for everyone okay yeah now back to your music then um as you are a gospel rap artist yeah. so who are you looking to work with in future in terms of collaborations would you focus on other hip-hop artists to um, collaborate I'm, with? I'm willing to work with 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 everyone. I mean, I've already started working with the upcoming people as well. Okay. Um, like you have said before, I've worked with Takindo. I've I've done something with Brian Temba. I've done something with uh, Colin Damans as well from Kanye and Bongi as well. So um, for now, I'm also gonna try to push to do some international collaboration as well. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So are you looking to stay on this or to to stay on this current genre, or are you looking to embrace other genres in future? Um, um, look, Mozako gospel is what I do, so okay. there'll always be that uh, right, signature right. When, whenever, it doesn't matter who I'm working with, I'm always going to embrace that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mozako, okay. great chatting to you, man. Thank you so much yeah. for joining Thank us. you so much for having me, man. And how do your fans follow you? Um, Instagram, Motlabi Music, Facebook is Motlabi. You'll find me there. Everything about me is there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. Eh? Thank you. We just spoke to gospel artist Debo Motlabi on his music and collaboration with multi-award winning gospel star Doug Ndo on the song called Kinako.